Hey YouTube, welcome back. We are MDEX Music and today we're going to talk about secondary dominance. Okay, so what is a secondary dominant chord and why would I use one? You can basically think of a secondary dominant chord as a means of making the arrival to any of the chords in your map, any of the basic diatonic chords, that much more is significant. Almost in a way of tonicizing that chord, like making that chord almost the one even if only for a brief second, right? So here's our map in its most basic form. I have to go up about four levels uh, to expose all my secondary dominance and secondary functions, because we're gonna have to talk about that too to sort of explain what a secondary dominant is. So if I use Mapping Tone Harmony Pro and I just plug in a basic, uh, uh, let's do like a little two, five, one thing here, right? So there's my 251 in the key of C. So what happens if we look at the chords we have in our progression functionally or diatonically? Let's do that, All right? So you can see the A7 up there in the key of C is not some sort of six, right? Like you'd expect it to be because A is the six of C, but rather it's a five seven. We're looking at that chord uh, and its function in relationship to D now, right? Or D minor in our case. So if we look at our chord progression in the same way, functionally, we're gonna see some interesting things. Like one, five, seven of two, five, seven slash two, and then two, seven, five, seven, one. That's what that means. If you've seen that before and you're thinking, how could two chords exist at the same time? Well, they can't. What that says is it's the five of two, A7, is to D minor seven in the same way that G seven is to C. We're just kind of like looking at the map almost fractally, right? Like we zoom in here and we see the same pattern we saw when we're, when we were stepping back. And if we zoom in again, we probably see more and more of the same. The same pattern keeps reemerging. Like we said before, when I showed you the basic map in D minor, you saw the very similar chords that you see when you look at the secondary functions of D minor seven within C. It's a really cool and important way to start looking at your harmony uh, more functionally and within this landscape of mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. But once you get used to it, you'll see like a whole world of stuff sort of open up uh, to you. So we definitely encourage you if you don't, if it doesn't make sense the first time, just like go over it again, watch the video maybe a couple times. That always helped me when I was learning stuff. So those are our secondary dominance. Those are our secondary dominance within the context of secondary functions and a basic uh, summary of how you would use one. And you can do this anywhere on the map. If I wanted to interpolate a chord into the, into the five chord, I could throw in its five secondary D7 right there. So now I have the five, seven of five. I have a D7, all right? So now I have this. So our two five one is a bit busier and it has some more chords in it, but basically uh, that's what a secondary dominant is and how you use it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let us know. We're always open to that. Uh, keep, uh, keep checking in on more content. We're gonna keep this series going. Uh, the feedback's been pretty positive, so we really, really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.